Hey guys, so I've just installed the official Android 5.1.1 update onto my Galaxy S6 Edge and I just wanted to post a quick video here checking it out to see if we can see any major differences here uh, and uh, we can have a look here at the official uh, version here uh, it is available on Sam Mobile so if you want to check it out you can use Odin uh, to flash it on here so uh, it is uh, quite quick to download as well as long as you've got a good connection uh, you can see here we do have a very familiar uh, notification area don't think there's too much in the way of differences here uh, but uh, in the settings we can have a look uh, to see if we can see anything uh, which uh, I think generally the focus of it is probably like a uh, uh, bugs and stability update here so uh, I don't think there's going to be too much in the way of differences here uh, but we can have a look at the inbuilt apps which is a dialer here see how it looks when you are calling welcome to three to check your balance and allowances or top up press one for so more options on the number you're calling from that. press that seems to uh, be quite uh, clean still uh, we do also have the contacts as well uh, which is similar as well as the messaging and also the clock here which is good uh, we can have a look at the speed here as well straight away uh, it looks like uh, things open up about the same in terms of the speed uh, Zeus can be quite temperamental though uh, you can see whoa here things do seem to open up nice and quick but obviously the uh, major issue uh, with uh, the Galaxy S6 has been the multitasking which has been uh, not uh, the best if we're to be honest uh, and uh, we can just have a look here to see uh, the preliminary impressions of whether it's been improved here so we can go back to something I was on earlier so maybe they were a little bit too far back So it certainly seems quite quick here when it comes to the multitasking, not too much in the way of reloading, which is good. Uh, I might do some uh, comparisons with some other devices, see how it stacks up now, it's on the latest software. Uh, but other than that, uh, we can see we still do have the edge functionality here, not too much in the way of differences. Uh, you can still pin contacts using this edge, which is quite nice. Uh, we still have some settings in here uh, which you can use to customize the edge and you can still uh, get access to your news feeds etc through the edge here so that all seems to be quite uh, similar here uh, the lock screen as well not too much in the way of differences here still very uh, nice and clean to get into it is good and let's have a look at the camera so you can see uh, very similar here I'd have liked if uh, Sam, uh, Samsung would have borrowed some tips here from LG maybe put like a more kind of hardcore DSLR mode in there where you can really configure everything uh, well, other than that, obviously it is a fantastic camera, it doesn't necessarily need it, but it would be nice for a future update maybe. So you can see everything seems to be working here, which is good. Uh, and we do, if we have a look at the settings here, still have access to like your Ultra HD, which is nice. 
Uh, and uh, we can have a look as well at the multitasking as well, uh, which should still be working here. So you can see we can make this into a little ball. And then that one, which is pretty cool if you ask me. And you can expand it out when you need it again, which is good. So it seems to be working quite well. Uh, we still also have obviously access to close all here, so you can quickly get rid of everything. Uh, and uh, we can just check out the browser as well, see if we can see any differences. The inbuilt browser seems to be very nice and clean here, and it does give you some settings as well, such as the uh, advanced settings, which is good. And what about the music app? Got to check that music app if I can find it. Hope they've not gotten rid of it. There it is. So we still have a uh, similar UI here, which is good. And an equalizer here, which is the same as before pretty much. Very nice uh, user interface here. Uh, so uh, we can just round off this quick video here, checking out the uh, Antutu. Might have it on already. Well, I do like that transition there. Can you see that? A really nice transition. I don't remember seeing that before. That is pretty cool. Or maybe I'm just shallow. Uh, we can just see here the Antutu nevertheless, I will speed through this quite quick. And I'll also leave the KitKat score uh, in the video description. So the Antutu is finished here and I'm a bit surprised to be honest because it's reporting uh, a score of 63,437 and I'm sure it scored higher before on the uh, the uh, previous version of Android which is a bit weird to me uh, but nevertheless maybe they'll push out a subsequent update uh, to fix any issues with this particular build uh, you know I think uh, in general it is a very early obviously 5.1.1 build so uh, I think uh, the previous score was about 68,000 to 70,000 something like that uh, but uh, interesting nevertheless uh, so uh, yeah, just a quick little video here then, checking out the official uh, Android 5.1.1 update for the S6 Edge. I'll definitely do some comparisons uh, as well as gaming to check it out in some other areas for those of you who are on the fence. Uh, and uh, yeah, just a quick video here, hope you did enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Cheers!